Alvin Sampson has with the job Rick Majerus did a year ago. Well, as we've stated before, it's all about coaching when you get to the big dance. You may not have a dominant player, you may not have any superstars, but coaching is something that can be done if you can create some alternatives. Wally Zerbiak, 43 of the 59 points scored for Miami of Ohio today. What a remarkable tournament performance. That's, that's up there with some of the greatest performances uh, in NCAA tournament history, particularly opening round. And of course, UNC Charlotte and an overtime victory today against 12th seeded Rhode Island. And this 4-13 uh, matchup on your bracket is certainly living up to the building as well in the Midwest region. Some thought this region was overstacked with talent. And to this point, it's living up to that. Very tough bracket. And I saw the Midwest. I looked at the teams that had won their conference title or either their conference tournament. So there was a, a few teams to contend with in this bracket. And uh, the half of the draw that's in New Orleans is also holding serve in terms of quality basketball being played. Wire-to-wire -wire finishes. Edgerson lost it on the way up. Outstanding defense by the Sooners. And not a rock right in the middle of it. They are eighth in the country in scoring. 83 points per game. Today, just 49. Doing a great job of collapsing. You see, he only put the ball on the floor one time before Nahara is able to get a hand in on the way up. <laughs> He's ready. He fought a long, hard battle just to make it to college. You think of the path he took into this NCAA tournament, the game's got to be easy. Johnson from the seat of his pants, making it 51 to 48. A savvy point guard, Michael Johnson, you know, he's not going to take a shot that's not there. He's only going to take the shot that, like you said, Tim, playing within the parameters of his game. Terry, tough shot. Edgerson, that <laughs> was one of those where someone had to be whistled, and Heskett, with Edgerson on his back, gets the double whammy, the foul to go with it. He has three. <laughs> There's a lot of action in the paint when the ball's in the air. A lot of positioning, as you see. Bramlett right there, he's trying to position himself. But look on the weak side. Edgerson, Coolidge, with the throw and the shoes. All they need is a red, white, and blue ball, and he'd be right back in the 70s. Yeah. Coolidge. From White Shadow, yeah. Those shoes, you think about it, that uh, I recall an old Steve Martin bit, cruel shoes. Those, <laughs> those could be cruel <laughs> as the season goes on or in the locker room. And the knee pads as well. <laughs> the knee pads, the socks, and the shoes, in my opinion, have to go. From, uh, from uh, San Augustine High School in New Orleans, Louisiana, where the likes of Avery Johnson, Terry Kittles, Donald Royal, once played a great bloodline of outstanding talent that's come from that high school there's a steal by Terry count it and a foul big mistake by Michael Johnson well Michael Johnson tried to cut off the lane to the basket but Jason Terry is so quick to the hole got there before Terry did and caused the contact Johnson sort of let his ego get in the way with that foul because that's his fourth. That's one he'd love to have back. And they really need him on the floor. But great anticipation as you see Jason Terry flash right into the passing lane. Little wrap around to keep the ball from going out of bounds. And then Michael Johnson coming in late tried to avoid it. But Jason Terry causing the contact and making the three-point play. He has a baker's dozen, does Terry. 13. And Arizona reclaims the lead by a deuce. Under six minutes left. We head for the stretch run, game two, round one, here in Milwaukee. Nahara. Brought down by Douglas. With Jason Terry on the floor, Michael Wright, A.J. Bramlett, and Richard Jefferson. Well, Tim, this is where you wonder if fatigue's going to stay in the last five minutes of the game. Oklahoma has been doing everything on the defensive end, spending their energy. So it's going to be interesting to see if the shot's a little short or if players get a little bit fatigued. Bramlett 
right. And Spaulding fights for it. Jefferson runs it down. Well, this game's not for the faint of heart. Spaulding again. <laughs> what outstanding defense by Oklahoma. They're not giving up anything easily, and they've united their bench and their crowd with that good series of defense. Unlike game one, this has been a loose whistle today. Martin can't hit. Nice work by Nahara to keep it alive. They're really letting them play, and it's been an enjoyable watch, hasn't it? Absolutely. It's good for the referees have the game under control, but it's also good when they recognize that players are playing hard. Let them play a little bit. Martin trying to work pick and roll for Nahara. And Nahara will pick it, and Martin will drain it. 54 53. Four trays for Eric Martin, the thoroughbred from Louisville. Well, he's shooting 43 percent from behind the heart, so anytime he steps behind the pitch, he's got to press up on him. Character. Right up and over Nahara. A foul. Either against Nahara or Martin. I believe Martin got whistled. Look at the pick by Nahara. Martin just steps right behind him before the defense could step up and help. And here's the defense by Oklahoma. They're really playing a gritty, tough defense in the paint, disallowing Arizona to get anywhere close to the hole, as you see great defense on Bramble. And excellent officiating. No need for a whistle there. Play on. I mean, that's just... That effort. That's effort on both ends. Hard play. It's okay to be a little bit physical when both teams are playing with the same amount of intensity. Michael Wright led the freshman in the pack 10 in scoring, rebound, field goal shooting, free throws, and minutes played. We've got just under four minutes left to be played here. It's not easy. A tradition. you have a feeling that each trip down it's tougher for Oklahoma to score than Arizona with uh, just less than four minutes to play and in large measure each possession needs to be valued more by the Sooners than perhaps by Arizona. Absolutely Oklahoma must execute set picks get people open and more importantly they can't turn the ball over. It's critical for Oklahoma to get at least an attempt up every time down the floor without turning it over. Johnson on the floor with four operating at the point. It's very crucial that he remain eligible for the remainder of this game. Shot clock grinding down. Nahara giving it up to Johnson. Recognizing the changing defense is not always easy. A strip. They did not get a shot off. And Martin picks up the foul. Probably not a bad idea because uh, Terry was going to explode to the hoop. But just as we mentioned, valuing those possessions, they come up empty. Yeah, you got to get a shot up, particularly against Arizona, because if you don't, they have quick hands. Jason Terry on the steal. Oh, a little double dribble right there, looks like. But nevertheless, the referees didn't see it. And if you're going to foul Jason Terry, that's a good idea to foul him before he gets to the hole. Hear that? The scoring leaders, Jason Terry, that's tall company, Stoudemire, Mills, Sean Elliott. 56-54. Terry has four steals in today's game. Even on four for 16 shooting, he can have an indelible impact on the game's outcome. Fourth lead change in the last three and a half minutes. Eskett, number 14 on the floor, along with Humphrey Johnson. Eric Martin and Alex Spaulding. Arizona's defensive pressure has really picked up the last couple of sequences. Yeah, Oklahoma is unable to penetrate beyond 20 to beat. Johnson, three-point bomb that will not fall. Bramlett for Alton. The last two possessions for Oklahoma, Arizona has been able to push them out. 
20 feet away from the back, and it's very hard to initiate any type of offense when you're always on the perimeter. You've got to find some way to set a pitch, penetrate the defense in order to loosen that up a little. Give Ludo some credit. Extend your defense in a game that's already been a root connection.